the word success in itself is are people that are successful commercially, uh, making money, or successful critically through their art, and they have an audience, um, either being an actor, a dancer, a writer, a painter, um, and they get recognized. And then there's personal success, personal achievement, which is you don't need recognition from the outside world if you find a personal achievement within your journey. If you're willing to risk with yourself, throw yourself in whatever you're doing, if it's, um, if it me, it's, it, it's writing. I've never ri written in my life before. Now, if in a year's time, we meet again to do another writing workshop, and I've progressed in my writing and come to a deeper place and a, a, a richer way of expressing myself through language, written language, then that'll be a success for me. Doesn't mean that it'll be a success for others and they'll think, oh my God, she hasn't improved that much. <laughs> but if for me it has been a risk, it has been work, and there is this progression, that'll be success. And I think success is... Um, is really something personal of what you achieve for yourself in your life or what you give to others that will be more enriching and that you feel proud of. Well, I mean, the only thing that people know me uh, for is uh, having been uh, uh, a Bond girl in The Living Daylights playing opposite Timothy Dalton, a, a Czechoslovakian cellist, because that was a movie that went around the world. So, uh, but I've had some much more local successes, you know, in the theatre and so forth, which only a tiny group of people know. But I think for the outside world, if they are Bond fans and love Bond movies, that'll be how I'm remembered, is for having been a leading lady in a Bond movie. What do you consider to be your greatest achievement? Um, it's understanding the process of the work and then being able to translate it to people in form of painting, acting or writing and it's being able to enjoy the process and I think the more I will enjoy it, the more I will relax into the process, the better I will achieve. So in 2007, on the 17th of January, I was in Los Angeles and I was staying at some friends uh, and I went on the Stairmaster that they had in their house and I was a guest uh, in the guest room, which was another little house up in the canyons. I went on the Stairmaster and I fell off the Stairmaster and had a, a brain hemorrhage, a rupture, a, a subarachnoid aneurysm bleed. Uh, and basically it was a pocket of blood that was on my artery that exploded. Um, and um, I had been not well for seven, six, seven months pr prior to this rupture, complaining of headaches, but couldn't figure out what it was. Anyway, so I had the hemorrhage, uh, and um, I had an operation, three, emergency operation three days later, uh, and then I was like four months in, in Los Angeles where it happened, in, in recovery and on full-on medication against strokes and all of that. Um, and... Um, when I came back to England, where I live, in London, there was no continuity. There was the, my, my, my surgeon in Los Angeles, there was, had no follow-up for me to follow up in England. So I had to do the research myself. Because I was not physically disabled and very, very lucky, but I just had slight disabilities with language, you know, headaches, uh, depression, uh, memory, really, really bad short-term memory. Um, sound, uh, any noise would hurt my, my, my head. Um, I was not sick enough or disabled enough to be in a place for physical, you know, disability like some stroke victims yeah. or um, all the injuries um, that can come from the brain. So I had to, to, to help myself and thank God I have the love of my husband. Now, this is me being very shallow. Okay. You're a Bond girl. I'm a Bond girl. Bond girls don't get sick. They don't get sick, Bond yeah, girls? Yeah, they don't get over Like, did you ever have a moment where you just went, this was not supposed to happen? 
No, because I'm an actress and I just played a role. <laughs> but as far as the audience, you know, the people out there, you know, films are illusions. Yeah. So, you know, you remain a Bond girl. I'm still surprised when I get recognized as a Bond girl and it happens from time to time. And I'm like, oh my God, I haven't aged that much. I'm still recognized. <laughs> so, um... Because I think most people, I don't know, it sounds like you have a lot more grades than the average person anyway, but most Well, people, for being a Bond girl. Well, <laughs> more grace period, because I think most people, when they get sick, they immediately go, this wasn't supposed to happen to me. It's very hard to understand, and then when you're lucky to survive, and I was really lucky to survive without any physical disabilities, and, and, and the doctors say it's a miracle that I'm not paralyzed or anything like that. I was still depressed. So I had a hard, really hard time dealing with the new me, as opposed to the old me. It took me a while, you know. But I think it brought me to a deeper place in understanding life, yeah. in being, in interacting with people, and time is up. 